hello Aries it's Nicola with intimate wisdom so we're going to be doing your monthly update and your love couples and your love singles update for the month of October 2017 let's see what we got for Aries Aries October 2017 what information do we have for Aries October 2017 any information guidance or messages for Aries October 2017 Got the three of swords. Some of you guys are in the third party situation, possibly, or maybe healing from um, some past hurts, past betrayals, heartbreak. Aries. October So for Aries, your um, underlying energy is the Two of Cups. So this could be two people coming together to begin a relationship, uh, a relationship that grows closer, um, deepening of a relationship, falling in love, even coming up with a positive conflict. I mean, a positive resolution to a conflict. I'm reading that, y'all. This could also be forgiving someone, making a choice. I see choices in love. So maybe you're making a choice with uh, two different people. Let's go ahead and pull some clarification cards and see where we're, uh, some of you guys may be ending something new. So some of you guys are ending something with, uh, a past lover. We got the lover's card and the five of, of wands reversed that popped out. So some of you guys are leaving some um, type of conflict or some type of conflicting relationship. Maybe you guys have decided to separate or maybe some you guys are deciding that maybe there's someone else. That you'd rather give your attention to because I also got the world card, the knight of cups, and the king of cups with the seven of cups. So, some of you guys are choosing someone else or are thinking about um, being with someone else. Whoa, okay, all right, Aries. With the page of cups, some of you guys are trying to offer some love to someone else. Let's go ahead and lay some clarification out. Let's clarify this uh, Aries reading for October 2017. All right. Oh, okay. We got two came out there. Hmm. So your underlying energy for that is a page of swords. This could be information coming in about a situation. Um, maybe delays um, concerning this information. This could be you expressing your truth to someone telling the truth about something or finding out the truth about something we got the king of cups as your theme for the uh month so this is um opening your heart and mind to those around you being more open to people um this could be like love this could be like the ultimate love this is the king of cups so he's like the ultimate lover um and this can also be a change in your environment because i got the will of fortune in the four of one so this could be a change in your household this can be falling in love with someone else other than the person that you're with my ring is irritating me <laughs> or this could be um this can also be like solidifying something with someone taking a step toward um marriage very possibly all right but i i, mm, I kind of think you're trying to leave a situation but you may be stuck in the middle of the situation like maybe you feel like a part of this relationship is over and you're ready to move into something better. Because we got ego here. So this is feeling trapped. This isn't the first week. It's feeling trapped, feeling the overly focused on um, negative things, fear-based thoughts. You got that with the Five of Cups. So this is about heartache. This is feeling trapped um, due to someone either betraying you, heartache, or just not seeing the positive of the situation that you're in in the second week we got the nine of cups so this represents someone falling in love and we got the queen of wands on top of that so this may be falling in love with a fire sign this could be someone bringing in passion someone very focused um very creative very fiery got a very fire energy um even someone who's and this can be you ready to set yourself free for this new love because the queen of wands represents like freedom represents someone asserting her, her his or her freedom um independence creativity things like that 
And with this clarifying the Knight of Cups, this may be you ready to assert your freedom. Maybe you're feeling like you want to free yourself from being trapped. So you're ready to, you know, go to something different because I'm thinking you got choices. You got choices in love and you may be fooling around and cheating. You got the Nine of Cups in reverse. So this represents like sinful things, cheating, um, sleeping with multiple people. It usually represents gluttony in uh, in reverse. So this could represent like an overkill of, of you know, sex, of passion. And this could be obsessing about someone else, obsessing about someone other than the person that you're with. And the fourth we've got the world card. So this is things coming to an end. This is a finalization of something. Um, this could be, um, it doesn't be necessarily have to be a negative, but this can be like just letting something go because we got the, the Knight of Wands, I mean the Knight of Pentacles on top of this. So this is a slow moving energy. This is, could be moving, or this could literally be you ready to move and not just taking that step just yet. Maybe you're still trying to make some choices or make, make a decision on as to whether you want to stay in this relationship or not. So let's pull some guidance cards. What do we have for Aries? And you could be dealing with the uh, ending things with a uh, Earth sign as well. Taurus, Cancer. I mean Taurus, Cancer, Virgo. On the Taurus, Cancer. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, you could be ending things with one of those signs. It doesn't necessarily look like it'll be a bad um, ending. It could be just there's no one's, you know making any moves maybe you're just ready to be free and pursue whatever this uh fire sign i see let's see what do we have for aries october 2017. there may be a change in your home environment as well that will of fortune on the fourth of uh wands it could be a change in your home environment as well Maybe you shut someone out at Aries, October 2017. Okay, transformation. It says you're experiencing enormous change right now, which brings you great blessings. It says you're applied for your today and all of your tomorrows. Create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. Take risks and put your heart's true desire into action. So I do see a lot of you ready to leave a situation behind and start something new. Um, you're ready to assert your independence, like I said before. And um, I think some of you guys should definitely take the, the leap of faith. That's what the cards are pointing to. Okay, so we're going to work on the love couples read for Aries. What do we have for Aries couples? October 2017. Any information for Aries couples? October 2017. Any messages? Guidance? Advice? Warning? Anything for Aries? Love couples? October 2017. This came out, guys. It happens sometimes. Aries. I'm going to be referring to my notes on this, guys. Get those cards out the way. underlying energy king of cups so maybe you're closing yourself off to your mate right now because some of you guys are ready to leave i definitely see some of you guys ready to end some things we got some tens in here some bunch of fives in here we got a lot of tens in here so this is like getting to a finale um within this relationship so in the first position we got what can you learn from each other for you what you can learn from your partner is um comfortably accepting the opportunity that you're um offered being very practical, responsible, um, even generous in a relationship. What your partner can learn from you is how to be witty, um, realistic, maybe even independent, um, make decisive decisions and clear away things and no longer serve you. You've got the King of Pentacles for your position and the Queen of, of Swords for your partner's positions. 
All right, so in the second position, we're looking at what you can expect from each other. What you can expect from your um, partner is self-discipline and willpower. Um, you can expect them to be very, um, to make very good decisions, be very focused in, on the path that they want to take with you. And what your partner can expect from you is for you to be um, confident, warm, you know, graceful. Um, they also can expect for you, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, to be very independent. Um, we got the Queen of Wands again, and this was in the, the regular read, the update. So this could be you ready to uh, leave. Maybe your partner can expect for you to leave um, this month. It's very possible with the layout that I see. All right, so let me just read this because um, <laughs> this is telling me a lot right now without me having to do these positions. Okay, so there will be some... Um, mm, There'll be some tension. There'll be a lot of tension, a lot of choices within this um, situation this month. A lot of you guys are going through some issues within your relationship that cause some heartbreaks, some challenges, um, maybe even some third-party situations. Some of you guys have been leaving, um, like literally leaving just so you don't have to deal with um, whatever this is. And by the end of this month, if you guys don't um, correct the issue, start communicating more, unlet go of negative and past hurts, someone is going to be free in this relationship. Because um, this is, I got the Nine of Pentacles as an outcome. So this is a single card. So if the things of this month aren't corrected, there isn't um, better communication, um, maybe even some leveling out of responsibilities, meaning both of you guys take responsibility for your own actions and responsibility for the things that you need to handle around your household and maybe even stop being so cold. I do see you being cold hearted, but I also see a lot of sharp words coming from your partner's um, side too. So maybe there is like conflict within communication, conflict within seeing eye to eye with each other. And that's going to have to change or by the end of the month, you're going to be single. Okay. So that's all I got for the couples. Let's pull some, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to pull some romance angel cards to see what advice do I ha we have for Aries. What advice do we have for Aries? Some of you guys may be dealing with a, 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 um earth sign. I see a lot of earth sign energy in this reading. I also see a lot of fire energy. So this could be a lot of arguing. Uh, maybe even some money issues. But I do see a lot of arguing. A lot of passionate talking, put it like that. <laughs> what advice, guidance, or messages do we have for Aries couples? October 2017. Whoa. Okay. Aries couples. 2017. October 2017. Aries couples. October 2017. So some of you guys are definitely looking for a new love. Some of you guys are ready to leave this relationship and go into a new love. I literally pulled new love. Some of you feel like this new person that you're either seeing at the moment or about to try to try to start seeing or communicating with, you think they're worth waiting for. You think they're worth waiting for. And there's some romantic feelings that you're feeling for this person. Um, there's been a lot of flirting, a lot of sneakiness going on, a lot of deception going on. And this new love, you're feeling like this person is the person that you're meant to be with. I do not see that this person this person that you're meant to be with but your thoughts and your actions are leaning toward this other person okay so i don't know what you're gonna do about that y'all are going through that put it in the comments let me know what you decided <laughs> i want to know um let's go ahead and get started on this singles read so we're going to be doing this for aries singles october 2017 what information messages or guidance do we have for aries singles October 2017. Any messages for Airy singles? October 2017. Airy singles. October 2017. Airy singles. October. Ooh. Okay. I guess we're going to use them. This four of them popped up. 
Okay, so for my single, or five popped out. For my single, some of you guys will be looking, will be um getting intertwined with a new love. This is just a look into the future. I'll do a full reading for you guys in the middle of the week because I want to do something special for my singles. All right, because I know a lot of you guys are looking for um, partners, looking for relationships, and I want to give you more clarity on where your partner could be and how to prepare yourself to receive them. All right, so we got romantic feelings coming in. Um, new love, flirting, worth waiting for and true love for my for my um, airy single. Some of you guys are going to be single mid-month, so you're going to be looking toward <laughs> new love. Um, this is for my couples that was just watching, because I know if you're thinking about it, you're going to watch the singles read as well to see what you're in um, looking for. You may feel like this person is the true love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And this new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So a lot of you are literally coming in contact with someone that could be um, a potential mate for you. I um, also got the underlying energy is getting to know each other. So some of you guys need to slow down and actually get to know this person. And don't rush things um, and ruin it for yourself. So let's pull some oracle cards for Aries singles, what guidance do we have for Aries singles? October 2017. Guidance. Messages. Whoa. Anything for Aries singles? 2000. October 2017. Okay. We got peace. Okay, your underlying energy is blossoming. It says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself, the process, and don't give up. We got peace. It says there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So you may be dealing with a past life situation here. Um, it says unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. A lot of you guys have been closing yourself off, Aries. Um, open up. Receive the energy that is coming in, but don't literally open up, okay? So this is all we got for the Aries read. Um, if you guys would like a personal reading, hit me up on my email. It's intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on my um, website. It's www.intimatewisdom.net. Um, readings are guaranteed within 24 to 48 hours. If you guys um, would like to know prices, they are listed in the description. If you guys would like to donate to my channel, do so through PayPal. Um, the link is paypal.me slash intimatewisdom. And um, I think that's all I got for you guys. Stay tuned for your weekly reads starting October 1st. I'll be doing weekly reads instead of the monthly and mo mid-monthly. I'll do a monthly overview and weekly reads um, from here on out. So that's all I got for you. If you guys have any questions, concerns, hit me up in the comment section. Have a good night.